distinguished colleagues, the acclaimed problem is uh, at the border between morphology, cytology, genetics, a huge number of patients uh, have the uh, samples removed, some biological liquids, for example. Uh, they are fixed with formalin and then they included in paraffin they included them put into the paraffin and then they are kept in the uh, archives of the onco centers they are called archive tissues the use of the archive tissues in the fundamental research leads to discovery of new opportunities in target therapy of the cancerous uh, tumors. The aim is very simple, to bring the nuclein uh, assets from the patient to the molecular genetic expert so that uh, oncologist could uh, prescribe the target uh, therapy. This can be uh, this sample can be put into the liquid um, uh, and but uh, 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 nitrogen, but this is a bit more difficult than putting it into formalin uh, than make thin uh, cut and the micro dissection can be done, but these activities lead to a uh, destroyment of uh, RNA and DNA and first in the late 1980s this molecular could be moved because of the bridges in nuclein acids and the, thus a huge number of researchers were started in routine diagnostics there are situations uh, when the material is not suitable for the molecular uh, analysis. Uh, for example, it was um, exposed to the acid influence, but these can be uh, prints of the um, tissue samples from biopsy of the bone metastasis. The material exposed to the acids is not suitable. There are new uh, chemicals without acids, and this can open a new page in research of this group of material. The autolysis process uh, destroy the uh, nuclein acids um, when the uh, unit. So there is a time of the uh, um, uh, temperature ischemia. So the time of uh, this temper uh, thermal ischemia for the TC of the lung uh, makes approximately equals to 30, 60 minutes. The time till the formal fixation. It is uh, the exact time is 30 minutes, but in fact it can be fixed by the formalin uh, within four hours. In the bigger centers, this problem is um, solved. But uh, you know, we got the uh, microslides from the smaller centers, and let's remember about it. Uh, DNA will be uh, preserved, but the material will not be suitable for the research. The morphology bases on the four uh, percent solution of formaldehyde. It fixes the um, tissues and prevents them from the autolysis. The biopsy fixes well, but at the deeper level it uh, slows down its influence. The use of this chemical for 200 years did not lead to the establishment of the standard of its use. There are some uh, requirements sometimes, but in each clinical establishment it is different. In 2008 there was an article 
uh, which claim that the longer uh, that the longer TCO uh, processing uh, leads to better RNA quality. If we speak about the routine diagnostics, it does not uh, influence it. But because we work with DNA tests mostly, but if we speak about the molecular classification of the breast um, cancer, but the materials of our archive turned out to be unsuitable because when uh, the foreign labs started to research them, they, be they turned out to be not suitable. In 10 years, it can turn out that the material is not suitable. So the uh, future generations will not be able to use it. Microdissection, very important uh, stage. Each tissue is a 3D structure with tumor cells, stromal cells, blood cells. The task is simple. It is needed preci preciously to uh, uh, take the um, uh, cancerous tumor cells. It can be done uh, manually or uh, automatically with certain equipment. For the manual microdissection, we need the blade and the um, micro slide. After that, the morphologist analyzes the micro slide and finds the zone with the maximal density of tumor cells and from the cut moves with the blade. The morphologist can take uh, distinguished colleagues to make the multi-block, multi-unit. You can have just one time puncture, which costs uh, less than one US dollar. And you should not spend uh, much money for that. But what about the relation of uh, tumor and non-tumor elements in the starting unit? What is this uh, relation? What should be? At least three persons in the lab works in microdissection. But each of them faces the problem. Is it enough material in the biopet? And we address to each other. Will the results of genetic research are uh, reliable if this relation is less or more than a certain figure. Some people speak about just about 40 uh, cells, but if the relation, if the number of the tumor cells is low, we need to inform the genetic expert who conducts the research about this. If we address to the uh, guidelines of the American Society for Clinical Oncology or in molecular testing for choosing inhibitors uh, EGFR and ALK, uh, the test is conducted for the patients with uh, who have adenocarcinoma of the lung. And if there are other types of cancer, I cannot call to another town and to the smaller center and ask them what to do. It is another type of cancer there. So we send it to the uh, research. So, and sometimes... Uh, the experts from another town calls us and asks, well, uh, we have sent you 20 uh, samples and there is no proof of our diagnosis. Is it our error or your error? Uh, we need to conduct the test uh, in material of the biopsy if uh, adenocarcinoma cannot be excluded. A monophenotype is different. So, in one case, we have adenocarcinoma, 
and other uh, there is uh, another type of cancer the material from the primary tumor and from metastasis can be used for the research. For example, lung cancer uh, cannot be detected at the primary stage. For example, here we have a man of uh, 36 years and we performed the histological um, survey and research and biopsy and we detected cancer and he had the verified GSR state if we are talking about the how many cells are enough the biopsy is about three millimeters and the focus about 30 cells so that is enough for molecular analysis and uh, also uh, our cytologists uh, different types of swabs and prints should be uh, used for defining EGFR and uh, a lot of difficulties we are facing with the histological materials is because uh, we should be focusing on the swabs and prints if we have tumor cells then there are no problems so you just have to send us the materials and there are some inertness and with morphologists, uh, the uh, t t thoracic um, specialists, they do not cooperate as it should be. As for micro dissection of uh, the cytological microslides, it is a similar picture. The zone is identified and then uh, micro dissection is uh, taking place. But it is uh, enough for performing the adequate analysis and uh, the adequate block. Uh, we need only 40 cells for an appropriate analysis to be conducted. Dear colleagues, some of uh, you uh, in regions and in the center and you you have uh, to have just one glass and you don't have to send us a bag with a lot of materials. Uh, thank you for your attention. Any questions? Comments? Yes, there is a question. But the microphone is not used, so the interpreter cannot hear the question. So those who are engaged in the practical work, uh, they face uh, such situations and one of uh, the most significant problems is the organizational problems. For example, when we saw the suit in different types of organizations and institutions, for example, primary diagnostics and then molecular uh, genetics, and it goes through you, but it, the different places. Uh, for example, some specialists do not uh, know anything about micro dissections, and um, they don't know whether it is uh, the right paraffin or the wrong paraffin. We uh, just bear the responsibility for HIC for IHC reaction because we have a lot of work to do besides that. So give Vladimirovich in Russia the situation is a little bit different. Uh, it has matured and uh, in the Russian Federation we have the uh, cancer genoma effect. Uh, we had uh, the inertness in the system uh, but uh, then they uh, managed to overcome that. Oncologists came, uh, overcame it uh, because it helped them to use the target uh, medicine in their practice and the laboratories were interested uh, in that to unlock their own potential and to, to develop their work so it um, went beyond the medicine and it was an integral resource that uh, was uh, created as uh, the resource uh, to uh, conduct the necessary logistic flows for uh, their research for lung cancers and they just send it to you and then you take it 